so yes it's September we have a new month ahead of us fall is approaching us very very quickly but as you know I've been doing this monthly tray makeup tray and I'm on September now so I done swapped out some things some things stayed but for the most part I have some new things I want to show you um, and I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for those who have been with me. Thank you for those ladies who had joined me last month. And if you're going to join me again this month, come on. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I got really good feedback. So I just want to show you what's in my tray this month. I put a picture on Instagram. And I had a few people ask me, you know, you know what, what's in it? So this month, I'm, I'm forcing myself. I'm pushing myself to jump into color as you see today maybe if the camera's picking it up I dabbled in a little bit of color today I have on some purples so in a little pink well you probably can't see the pink because I did it very very lightly because I'm, I'm scared of color but um yeah I'm gonna start out with my main source of makeup my main source of eyeshadows and what I'm going to be doing and how it's gonna force me to use some color and break out of my neutral zone so first thing on the <laughs> in the tray is my uh, party girl palette i've never used it i use it today to make this makeup that i have on today but i looked at it 101 times i even had a giveaway and i gave one away and this is some really really pretty colors i mean i swatched a ton of them played around with them with my fingers but i've never actually used it so this is pretty much my main source of makeup. There is some neutral colors in here that I can use, you know, when I go to work. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to branch out a little bit. And I like how purple is looking on me. So, today I have on purple. And I like it. So, let me know if you like this look. You know, thumbs up. Give me a comment below or something like that. And I have my two Wet n Wild palettes. This one is Petal Pushers. This is purple. So, again, get, I'm, I like the purple today. So, you know hopefully i'll continue to like this purple then i have comfort zone and this is my comfort zone which is the neutral so we'll see we'll see i know i'll probably be grabbing for this a lot because i really don't have a dent in any of my makeup and i'm very very happy about how i used my makeup last month so I'm, I'm liking this i'm liking it so some things that's back in the tray i didn't have a chance to use because i kind of used some of the things that i had in my tray in a different form and What's back in my tray is, where's the other thing? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> is the e.l.f. Healthy Glow. Now, I had this one in my tray last month, and I'm going to bring it back. In addition to this one, this is Sun Kiss, and this one is Warm Tan. I might have had them both, I don't remember. But what I did, like the one that was running late for work, I took a brush and I put this all over my lid. And I was out the door with some eyeliner and some mascara. And I got tons of compliments. So I was like, you know what? This is going to stay because I'm going to use this baby up. And I use it as my, you know, my little highlight and things like that. So those two, well, one of those will be back. In addition, I'm, I'm bringing this color tattoo back because I used it. And I told you that it wasn't, it's, it's kind of drying up or doing something on me. I'm not liking how it was looking. So I'm going to give it one more month. Because I said I was going to throw it out last month. I'm going to give it one more month, and if it doesn't do good, I'm going to toss this puppy because it just don't look like how the other ladies look on, you know, on YouTube, or even, it doesn't even feel right. Like, I can't put my finger in it and tap it on my eyelid. It just doesn't do right. Maybe I used it one time, and I had, like, oil on my finger or something, and it kind of got messed up. And these guys made it back in because I didn't have a chance to use them, which is my three Sephora, um eyeshadows so I did um have those in the last month I didn't have a chance to use them so they have to come back and I probably won't get a chance to use them again because I have this party girl palette here and the list of four this is um a gold one and you guys maybe have seen these these style before with the carving and everything in it you know I didn't have a chance to use it so I'm gonna use it I don't know. And all the liners that I showed last time are back in. I finally opened this. This is the M Milani um, HD Advanced Concealer. And the one that I have is an 03. I think it was like medium beige. But guess what? It comes out like an orange tint. So for like those mornings when 
I'm feeling like tired and my eyes are puffy and I got, got darkness going on. I just put a little bit, dab it in, and I, it's bright and I, and I look okay. So, I was able to open this a long time ago, but they don't even make this anymore, I don't think. So, I'm going to be out of luck when this runs out. So, everything else, all my liners from last um, month are still in. I do have three more new things. Well, this here, this is the Milani um, Sunset Beach Plus. I, I use it on my cheeks, but I more use it on my eyelid as a transition color. So, it's going to stay until I put a dent in it. But I have a few new things, as I did show you already. But I want to use up my Bobbi Brown. Um, this is called the Extra Repair Foundation. And this one's an almond. I want to use up. So, I put my BB cream to the side. And I want to use this foundation. Since the weather's getting a little bit, you know... I live in the south, so it's going to stay warm for a while. But, you know, indoors with the AC pumping, I can I can, I can, can deal with this. This is kind of light anyway. It's not heavy. And I pulled this out. I really don't use this. This is a bronzer, and it's a medium. And I'm not going to use it on, like, a contour. I'm going to use it probably like a blush, you know, just kind of warm up the face a little bit. Because it, it's not a contour for me where it will actually show. It's pretty much my skin tone. But it has shimmer in it, so I have to be very careful with that. And then my birthday, which was in June, I didn't even open it as of yet. But I will be opening it this month. I'm probably going to use it tomorrow when I go to work. This is the um, Their Real Mascara. And it comes with a highlight, and it's the What's Up. So you ladies probably know what this is already. I'm a little behind Jane. So this is what I have. Well, good. This one is stuck. But this is how it looks. I'm excited about the brush because I'm more of a length girl. I like spiral lashes versus volume or the bushness. I don't like that. I like the lashes to be like like that. My own lashes. I have not gotten to eyelashes, false lashes as of yet. Hopefully soon I will. I don't know. A lot of work, a lot of work. I'm barely getting this down pat. But that's it. And since I was so good, I did reward myself because I I didn't put a dent in anything of my, my makeup of last month, but I did, um, I did use my makeup and I, uh, you know, I felt like I, I utilized it like I should have. So I did go to Big Lots, nothing fancy, I didn't go to CVS, I didn't go to Sephora, just something, you know, simple to reward myself. I only spent 15 bucks and I got a few things, oh, excuse me, from Big Lots and... Starting out, oh, I got these. This is this is from um, Dollar General. These are the eye like um, eyebrow pencils that I, use. I like to keep two on hand. Like I have one now, and where is it? Now that I want to show you, I can't find it. But here it goes. It's kind of low. This is the last one I have. It's kind of low, and I do my eyebrows every day when I go to. If I don't put any makeup on, I will, my eyebrows will be done. And I use these. Simple, nothing fancy. That's what I use. And I bought me a smudge brush because I want to start doing the whole under eye thing. I bought some brushes before, but they really wasn't cut. Maybe I just didn't know what I was doing, so I don't know. And you guys know I'm a neutral girl. <laughs> so I picked up another neutral palette. This is the L'Oreal. This is probably discontinued. But this is called Canyon Stone. And I'm sure people saw this before in the stores. But I thought this was very neutral if I do my makeup during the week. You know, I could put it in my purse for touch-ups and things like that. And I'm trying to get into color because a lot of my friends tell me all I do is wear pink. So I do have a nude lip one today. This is Milani Teddy Bear. And I have a LA, LA Girl or LA Colors. Who is this? LA Colors lip gloss over it. So since I had this kind of dark looking eye to me, I put a nude lip on. So... Any, yeah, this before I get into these lipsticks, these is the Maybelline. These are some lip glosses. They were called Brilliant. I don't know. It doesn't say on here. Oh, Color Sensational. This color is in Hooked on Pink. This is only two fifty, and I picked this up. So can't wait to use this. It's kind of a a mauvey looking pink. It's not bright, and it may look bright once it get on my lips. Who knows? We will see. And then I picked up these L'Oreal hip intensity pigments these are lip glosses i hope pigment let's see yes <laughs> i seen the word pigment i got a little little nervous 
but um this is the this one is a red one this is a nude color and this is a purple so this will again will help me get into those warmer darker colors and get me out of my comfort zone of pinks and what else i got a red because i i've been wearing my ruby woo wearing it out so I bought this one this is the L'Oreal and this is a matte and this is called really red I didn't open it yet I'm gonna have swatches on my um my blog I know one young lady um asked me to just start doing swatches because but I didn't want to swatch this stuff because it's from big glass and sometimes when you go to big glass it's a hit or a miss you know so you never know you never know but um yeah that's it that's me rewarding myself because I did such a good job with sticking to my uh, monthly makeup tray last month and hopefully if I stick to this one which I know I will I'll get to reward myself again I haven't done any shopping in CVS or Sephora or anything like that so I'm just trying to be good and I'm sure as you guys know I have lights it's all bright up in here looking like daylight uh, yeah I got gifted some lights and I'm like super excited um, and that's about it I thank you guys for watching and if you guys are going to start doing the monthly train with me, leave your comments below. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Leave some comments for me. And let me know what you got going on in your tray if you're going to do it. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.